fair slide is the best thing that's ever been in this town. This makes the town three times better. Even if only two of the slides are usable, no one's crazy enough to try the ultra high one. What are we waiting for? Last one down is a can't slide candy. <laughs> Let's see. If I lean back across my arms, I should be able to overcome wind resistance and... Whee! <laughs> uh, Tom, why aren't you sliding? Don't tell me you're a can't-slide Kathy. It's my tooth. It really hurts. Huh? Yeah. You should go to the dentist. No, no dentists. You know what? You're right. I should slide. It'll help take my mind off the pain. Yep, already feeling bad. Ow! Oh, nice technique. I want to try. Are you okay, Tom? <laughs> uh, I had a toothache. Now I have a buttache too. Okay, that's it. I am taking you to the dentist. <laughs> Wait, did we forget to turn off the oven? Should we check? Let's check. No, 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 no. Don't be afraid of the dentist. Look, Ronnie from your Scout Boy troop is here. Hi, Scoutmaster Tom. Today's the day the dentist pulls out my last baby tooth. The little fella just won't quit on his own. Uh-huh. That, that's great, Ronnie. Say, you're not scared, are you? <laughs> I'm not afraid of the dentist. Dentists call me Brave Tom, the king of Courage Castle. Impressed? <laughs> This is a change from the nervous wreck you were on the way over. Ha! Huh, nervous? <laughs> I was playing you, girl. I was just letting you see my vulnerable side. I am as cool as a bag of frozen stuff. Oh, yeah! Tom? Ah! Ronnie was here first. He should go before me. No, he just likes to get here a few hours early to be safe. <laughs> it's okay. Fine. Good, because I am also ready for him. I will walk through the office and I will... <laughs> I can't do it! <laughs> Where's Brave Tom going? He's probably going to be brave somewhere. Oh. Tom, sounds like your real problem is fear. What if I hypnotized you into not being afraid of dentists? Hank, that would only work if you were a hypnotist, and you are not. Ah, uh, Hank is not. But the one you know as Hank once traveled the world as the great Hankarito, master hypnotist. Whoa, that's a whole master above regular hypnotist. Tom, maybe Hank really can help you. Uh... The mood is in the air. The hypno hat is on the head. And the great Hankarito is in the house! Great. Just to warn you, though, I am pretty strong-willed, so I may be a little tough to hypnotize. Sleep! Yeah, gotta be honest, I am not feeling it. Ooh, sleep! Like I said, I am... Uh... Hear my words. You are no longer afraid. I am no longer afraid. You can go to the dentist because you are fearless. I can go to the dentist because I am fearless. Woo! Hank Arito still got it. What do you think about that, guys? Guys? Huh? Tom is fearless. Tom can go to the dentist no problem because he is fearless. Woo! I gotta dial down the old hypnotic power. Dentist office, take two. Let's get this tooth pain fixed. <laughs> Look at that scaredy cat. Wow, you really aren't afraid. Nope, this is gonna be cake, which I will be able to eat after this. Ronnie Bergstedt, the dentist is ready to see you. Can you take me first? Okay, come in. Uh, 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 yes! Ronnie, uh, we'll try again uh, tomorrow. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess that's fair. Good luck, Tom! Don't need it, buddy, because this is gonna be awesome! <laughs> Just kidding. Ha! That was great. 
You know, the dentist could have finished an hour ago, but I figured, why not check all my other teeth, too? You know, since I'm here. <laughs> Would the lovely lady like a lollipop? Oh, where'd you get this? They have a secret drawer that's only for their bravest patients. <gasps> Wait, we should celebrate my fixed mouth. Do you want to go see that new movie, Fright Blood Knife 7? Uh, not really. That's like the scariest movie ever made. Well, then I've got to see it. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Here I am, up on the roof. It's just like a floor, but it's a lot more fun. <laughs> oh, ah, that's very dangerous. You should not do that. More like I should do this today and every day after. <laughs> this is bad. Tom's been like this all day. He even rode on the bus. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. City buses are a cost-effective way to travel, plus they reduce traffic. No, he climbed on top of a bus and rode it. Tell me you guys saw that. Yes, it was terrifying. You're gonna hurt yourself if you don't stop acting like this. Stop? No way. I'm just getting started. Now step aside, amigos. I have some thrills to seek. All right, guys. I'm about to head down this new park slide. Not the little one. Not the medium one. The double back down the ridiculously big one, yo! The big slide is just for show! <laughs> I'm glad you're here to watch me go down this on a skateboard, <gasps> blindfolded, <gasps> while wearing my helmet. You! <sighs> on my butt! <sighs> oh no. Hank, you have got to do something. Yes, the great Hankarino began this, and the great Hankarino must end this! <laughs> One, huh? two, three! Yeah. Oh, Hank. All right, Tom, it's time for me to de-hypnotize you. Oh, Hank. Sleep, sleep. Fear is not always bad. Sleep. A little dollop of fear can keep you from doing really stupid stuff. Fear can, fear can. Fear can get out of here, man. Oh, no. Tom's not letting me form a hypnonection. I'm going to be brave for the rest of my life. Curse these useless hypno fingers. Tom, you're not going to have a rest of your life if you don't stop this. Tom, no. No. Oh, no, Tom. yeah. Tom, he was my best friend. But Tom is coming back soon, right? And we'll all laugh about this when he does, right? <sighs> no, Ginger. I'm afraid it's just Ben Enterprises now. Because Tom is, uh, Tom is dead. <gasps> dead? <gasps> no, 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 I, I, I can't be dead. All that was left of him was his helmet. What? Guys, I'm right here. Look at me. Look at me. He was too fearless for this world. And now he's gone. <laughs> it's all because I hypnotized the fear out of him. I blame myself. I blame you too, Hank. You and, and the toothache. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be happening. I should have listened to my friends. How could I have been so stupid? I don't want to be brave anymore. I want to be afraid. 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 Okay, Ben. That should do it. Huh? <laughs> well, did someone finally learn his lesson? Ben, oh, you can see me. <laughs> we can all see you. You're not really dead. Look. <laughs> oh, 
I'm alive! I got a second chance! I'm alive! <laughs> yeah. We hypnotists have a saying. Sometimes the patient has to unhypnotize themselves. Ugh. You saved me for me, and I won't forget it. From now on, I'm gonna be the biggest coward you know. No more risks, no more stunts, and definitely no more dentists. In the name of kindness, I befriend you! I can't believe they're actually making a Starlight Blue movie that I actually get to audition for! In the name of kindness, I befriend... Oh, that's so bad. Okay, do it again. You've got this, Angela. Or should I say... Starlight? Yeah, you should. I was born to play this part. This show seems boring and weird. Do you have any episodes of Kick Ninjas? <laughs> they kick and they're ninjas. That's a lot cooler. No, Ginger, Starlight Blue is the coolest superhero ever. She has a shield of friendship, she can turn anything into flowers, and her tears make villains good. Ugh, sounds like it's for girls. That's because it is for girls. And also, boys, Starlight Blue is for everybody. Ugh. Who wants popcorn? I've got caramel and sea salt pizza flavor. Hank, what are you doing? You don't work here. Well, not yet, but Angela isn't the only one trying to break into the movies today. If I play my cards right, I could be snack server to the stars. Quiet, guys. The director is gonna make an announcement. Thank you all for coming out. The Starlight Blue movie is gonna be full of exciting surprises. Surprises? I knew it. And the most exciting surprise is... Starlight Blue is gonna be a guy. What? <gasps> but, but none of us are guys. Good point, ladies. I guess you can go home, because none of you will ever be Starlight Blue. But that doesn't... Yeah, seriously, a boy Starlight Blue doesn't even make sense. Actually, there's a tradition in acting of men playing female roles. In ancient Greece, many plays had all-male casts, but thanks to the imagination of the audience... Uh, this isn't what you need to hear right now, is it? Or maybe it is! If that director doesn't want Angela, maybe he'll like... Angelo! Tom, teach me how to be a guy. Uh, being a guy is not easy. I know I make it seem that way, but true dudeness, it takes a lot of work. I'll do whatever it takes. I have to win my role back. No one is playing Starlight Blue but me. That's a dude. That's a bro. That's a... A guy would do more of a chill nod. Right on. Breakfast popcorn, sir? Uh. Wow, this is great. Are you new here? Yep, it's my first day of movie making magic. Oh, if only I could find a guy as good at being starlight blue as you are at tossing treats. Nobody seems to have the raw masculine energy a sorcerer of friendship needs. <sighs> Do you think you could, uh, well, uh... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, heard you were looking for a star. Well, here he is. Aww. The name's Angelo, and I'm definitely a guy. Wow, I can tell. All right, kid, what makes you think you should be Starlight Blue? Check it. <laughs> wow, now that's the kind of manly power I'm talking about. You're hired. But, uh, Action! What do we do, Starlight Blue? The crystal minions are almost upon us. Don't worry about it, friend. With the power of my touch, I can turn things into flowers. Check it, bro. God! Great, great stuff, Angelo. One thought, though. I don't feel like the flowers are uh, working. Oh, sorry, dude. Did I fumble with my man hands? No, no, it's not you at all. I, I just feel like the new Starlight Blue would make flowers. He'd make work boots. Bring in the work boots. 
I love boots, obviously, as a guy, but why do we have to change it, bro? Because work boots are flowers for dudes. Also, instead of your tears turning bad guys good, now your high fives turn them into a wrestling team. But that goes against everything Starlight Blue is, I mean. Cool beans, bro, brother. In the name of kindness, I befriend you. Ugh. There's my star. <laughs> Are you okay? No. I thought this would be great, but I don't feel like the character I love. My catchphrase even got changed to potato chips rule. They sure do. <sighs> but yeah, I guess that is pretty weird for him to put in there. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like something is wrong. Am I just being a difficult actor? You know Starlight Blue better than anyone. So if you think something is up, I believe you. And I bet it has something to do with that director. Too pretty, too artsy. No, no, yes, yes. Hey, leave those cameras out of focus. Huh? The less the audience can see, the more mysterious everything is. Hmm. Huh? Ah. This is impossible. There's no way for us to get close to this guy. Well, maybe not us. Sir, would you like to be the first to try my new popcorn flavor, fiery enchilada? Wow, can you read my mind? Mm. Popcorn guy, you have outdone yourself. You're a true artist. Takes one to know one. And I love the changes you've made to Starlight Blue. So brave, so bold. Just where do you get your ideas? Genius is a really hard thing to explain. You either have it or you don't. Oh, come on, genius director guy. I look up to you so much. Well, since you're my number one fan, I'll tell you, I'm changing things because I'm trying to destroy Starlight Blue. <gasps> Growing up, I always wanted to watch Kick Ninjas. But my sister had put on Starlight Blue instead. Day after day, I suffered through that drivel. But now I shall have my revenge, because I'm gonna make a movie so bad, no one will ever want to see Starlight Poo again. <laughs> I've been planning it all in my revenge journal since I was a boy. Wow. Your, your handwriting's gotten pretty neat. Thank you. Now, don't tell anyone about this, or you'll never pop another kernel in this town again. Angela, did you hear that? Every traitor is word. Hey, director dude, can you come here? I had an idea for this scene, and I wanted to talk it out man to man. So, when I fly to the Moon Palace, what if I got there by downing a jalapeno energy drink? Ooh, I like it. Just spitballing here, what if every time you drink it, it made you fart? <laughs> What's going on? You were distracting me while they stole my journal? You're a thief! Yeah, and you're a liar. We trusted you to make a good movie, but now we know your secret and we're gonna show the world. You seem like such a cool bro. Well, guess what? I'm not a bro. My name is Angela. And I'm a girl. Oh, I should have known a girl would try to save Starlight Blue. A girl just like my sister. Too bad for you, I have the power of the Kick Ninjas. <laughs> Kick Ninjas don't stand a chance against the power of Starlight Blue. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this never happened in ancient Greece. <laughs> Starlight, you can defeat this goon with the power of friendship. Uh, in the name of kindness, I'm gonna take you down. Fat chance, now eat toes. Security, take out this trash. <laughs> you haven't stopped me. I'll get someone else to destroy Starlight Blue. That'll teach her not to ruin my childhood. Starlight Blue was never about ruining anything. She was about helping and friendship. 
and she was important to a lot of people. She's right. Starlight Blue helped me make friends when I moved to a new town. Some really dark times. She helped me believe in myself when a bully pushed me once. And I liked her robot, Boom Boom. No, no! Starlight Blue is the worst show ever made! And you're, you're the, the worst, worst director! director. Hey, hey, what are you... Oh. Take your... Take... Cut, cut! <laughs> cut! Get him! No! Ooh. Mm. Now this is what I call a movie. Well, it's too bad that I don't get to make the Starlight Blue movie. Yeah, but at least you stopped them from making Starlight Bro. Guys, I watched all your old tapes with Starlight Blue, and it's actually really good! My favorite is when she has to stop the rainbow ship from sinking into the Crystal Sea! Wanna watch with me? I'd love to, but I actually have to go. Angelo promised some guys from the movie he'd meet them for Dude's Dart Night. Better not be late. Oh, money. Oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> Today is prank day, my favorite time of year. Oh, it's prank day, so everybody cheer. I love prank day, so prank your mom and friends. <laughs> I messed up a song. Great prank! We are prank day, and everybody knows that on a prank day, everything goes. So listen up, as we all say, Happy prank day, Happy prank day, prank day! Yeah! <laughs> Okay, the entrances are all blocked. I don't think Ginger can get in here. But maybe that's what he wants you to think. Oh, we won't be safe until prank day is over. And that won't be until tomorrow. <gasps> Hello. Oh. You. Who's ready for a great? What's with a pillow fort? Ben, did you forget? It's prank day. We have to defend ourselves from Ginger's practical jokes. Oh, no! That can't be today! I need to finish my freeze blaster! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> a little too much blaster, not enough freeze! Cool invention, Ben! Who blocked the back door? Oops. My bad. Ah. No. Wow, you seem really stressed. Is it because it's prank day? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm all pranked out. Really? Yeah, there's a new season of my favorite scary show. Aliens versus aliens versus even more aliens. So I had to get my pranking in early. I did a whole big thing outside. Pudding! Pudding! <laughs> well, this is a relief. We were all worried for nothing. Prank day turns out to be just a regular day. Yeah. Jelly bean? Thanks. These are good, Ginger. What flavor are they? Mine was apple. Yours are triple hot pepper. It's even better than I hoped it would be. Oh, 
I don't know what's real and what's not real. Are these actually fries? You think a fear of fries is a bad thing? I'm afraid of the bathroom, and it's becoming a problem! We'll just stay here until prank day is over, all right? If, if we're not in the garage, then his garage traps can't get us. You are all rocking prank day. I never knew you were so festive. What are you talking about? We hate this holiday. Really? Because your videos are number one trending on Fastapic. <laughs> We have to do something about this. Well, it's prank day. Why don't you just, you know, prank him back? That's not a bad idea. But he's unfoolable. The only time he lets his guard down is when he's watching that show. What's it called? Aliens versus aliens versus something? That's it. We're going to turn the ultimate pranker into the pranker who learns never to prank people again. <laughs> because we couldn't tell who the aliens were. They can look like anyone. Friends, family, even your mailman. <laughs> Guys, aliens invaded the world, and I thought it was a prank day prank, but it's for real. This is serious. We know, Ginger. They got Angela. <laughs> it was the aliens that did it. Her last words were, no, no, ah! This can't be happening. This is definitely happening. I mean, you heard Guy News, man. Are we already too late? What do we do? I don't want to be vaporized by an alien. Don't worry, Ginger. We'll never <laughs> let that happen to you. You can use the storage unit as a bunker to hide in. Now we just, we just gotta wait a few hours and, and prank day will be over. <laughs> no more pranks for another year. Or maybe ever. Now that the bathroom is finally safe, I got some things to take care of. See you in 10. Hey, somebody throw me a magazine. And I can finally get back to working on my freeze blaster. Huh? Okay, who took my freeze blaster? Well, you probably left it in your other pants. Check to see if any of them are frozen. Not funny. The freeze blaster could be very dangerous in the wrong hands. Can we all please look for it? Huh? Oh, man. Uh, it's not in the couch cushions. It's not under the mail pile. Well, then, where is... Oh, no. I'm gonna turn these alien slime balls into one big outer space slushy! Ginger, wait! I watch a lot of alien shows, so if anyone can save the world, I can! You're making a big mistake! No, I'm not! Don't follow me! I'm coming to get you, aliens! No, Ginger! Oh! Oh, Tom, what were we thinking? They're frozen. Ginger must have thought they were undercover aliens. All right, aliens. You think you're cool? I'll show you cool. Ginger, stop. Don't try to talk me out of this. I'm serious. There are no aliens. I mean, look. Angela, she's still alive. It's true. I am not a pile of dust. That Angela is obviously an alien wearing her body as a disguise. Have you lost 
Just your mind! Get me back by mouth! I'm starting to wonder if you all are working with the aliens. You locked me in a closet so I wouldn't be able to go out and fight them. Now you're here telling me to go home with an obviously fake Angela. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I should freeze you just to be safe. No, uh, Ginger, don't freeze us, okay? This was all just a prank. We wanted to teach you a lesson so you would stop pranking us. Hey, please, if you just put down the blaster, we promise to never try to prank you again. And and we'll let you prank us, even when it's not prank day. You can prank us once a month. No, twice, twice a month, and we won't even complain. Well, there's only one thing that I can say to that. <laughs> gotcha. Huh? What? Oh. <laughs> I thought you'd probably try to prank me this year. So I had my girl on the inside give you a push in the right direction. Becca! Oh. You didn't! What? That's what this day is all about. <laughs> so so the whole town was in on this? You can't out-prank the ultimate pranker. Nice try, though. <laughs> and now we know the best way.